Hi, Ray G here, and today we are going to predict the image form through a concave lens using the ray method or the ray diagram. Now, similar to the convex lens, the points around the concave lens are indicated as follows. We have the 2F, which is twice the focus, uh, and the optical center, which is exactly at the same of, in the middle of the lens. The focus prime on the other side and the 2F prime, which is twice the distance of the focus prime. Now, in terms of the rules of the concave lens, it slightly changed compared to the convex lens. Now, as you could see here, the incident ray starts with a line aligned with the focus prime instead of the focus. Okay? So, in the convex lens, it is just the focus. And another is if it is parallel with the principal axis, instead of being refracted towards the focus prime, it is then be refracted to uh, aligned with the focus instead. Okay? Just like in the illustration here. Now, let's start from the beginning. First, we have a line which is aligned with the focus prime. Okay? Now, to make sure that it is aligned with the focus prime, what I like to do is to extend the line to the other side of the lens just to make sure. Okay? So, if that happens, the line should be parallel with the principal axis when it is refracted or is refracted by the lens. So, let us do that. Let's represent it with a different colored line and it should be parallel with the principal axis just like that. Okay? Next, it says that we need to draw a line which is parallel with the principal axis and if we did that, it will then be refracted towards or aligned with the focus instead of the focus prime. So again, a parallel line, okay, parallel with the principal axis. And then I draw the refracted ray, which is aligned with the focus instead of the focus prime. Similarly, I extend the line from the focus and make it pass through the point of refraction so that it's much easier it's much easier to illustrate. Okay? And then finally, if a line passes through the optical center, it will not be refracted. Just like in convex lens. Now, notice that the lines or the refracted rays Okay, cannot meet or does not meet even if you extend them infinitely. So, same rules to convex and mirrors or curved mirrors. We are going to uh, extend the rays to the opposite side and we name it as virtual rays. Usually represented by a broken line. Okay, let's start with the one with which is aligned with the focus. Like so. Okay, next, parallel with the principal axis, just like that. And finally, we have a line which is passing through the optical center and not refracting. Now, notice that there is, again, an intersection okay, between the three virtual rays. So, what does it mean? It means that this will be the location where the image is formed, okay? And the image formed is the point in which it originated, which is the tip of the arrow here. Okay, I'm going to make it a different colored one so that you could see it clearly. Okay, now notice that the image formed is smaller, okay, than the original object. And it is still located at the top or above the principal axis and it is formed by intersect intersecting virtual rays. So, what would be our conclusion? First, the object is still upright. Okay? And it is now smaller than the actual object. And finally, it is a virtual image. 
And that concludes our video. Make sure to put a like and subscribe. Goodbye for now and see ya!